Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. Today's video is a durability test of the FMS K10 truck, whatever they call it. And we already did an unboxing. Thank you. Um, let's get into the video. If it's red, it's dead. Okay, so because this is a durability test, we have to test the packaging. FMS is usually known for their amazing packaging like this, and we gotta test out the packaging. So, gotta roll of duct tape, the 3M, it's good stuff. And we are just gonna smother this thing in duct tape. Good for that side. Now we're going to do some more. Like this. Perfect. As he said, perfect. Let's get to it. Oh, no, no, no. Not Google Maps. Why you not? need Onyx Off-Road. What's that? Let me tell you a little bit about it. Onyx Off-Road has so much to offer. Discover off-road trails, save maps for offline use, track, save, and share trips, public and private land info, customize with markups, and sync with CarPlay and Android Auto. There's so many tools to explore with Onyx Off-Road. You can create your own route or mark a certain point on the map. With the Elite Membership, you're able to do so much more. You can create a route and save it for later to use offline. You also get a discounted rate from some of the top names in off-road. So what are you waiting for? Hit the link in the description down below. What do you think? That sounds amazing. I gotta go try that right now. See, isn't that much better? This is amazing. I can load every single road on here. So now that he likes it, you guys can get that same experience by hitting the link in the description down below to get 20% off your first year membership with Onyx Off-Road. So thank you Onyx Off-Roads for sponsoring today's video. You won't regret it, trust me. Back to the video. Alright, let me get that. Alright. That's test number one. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. There we go, guys. That's it? No. Oh. Still in one piece. All right, all right, it's my turn, it's my turn. Okay, I'll show you, I'll show you. See, they gave us trees for a reason, okay? Oh. I missed. Harder. Ooh, a little squeak on it. What do they make this out of? I don't know. All right, let's go find it now. As you can see, it's been penetrated. Oh, that was on there. It's been penetrated. It's the bottom of the truck, which we really don't need. All right. Okay, so I was going to save water for the next video, but like, we got to test water. So let's see how good this box is. It would just be a shame if I just, oops. 
Damn, that sucks. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is a surprise to me. Um, did not think that's how that would end up. A boat, as we can see. Across the road, there's a little bit of a deeper water that I would like to test. So uh, we're gonna go to the other side of the road now. But before we get there, I found this. So we're just gonna do one more. Double tap. The contact. There's nothing even dead. That's it. Moving on. All right, guys. Deep water. Go ahead. What, it hit you in the face? You good? A little bit. Oh, that's nothing. No. Is that it? A little Pardon dirty. Me. Still wet, but here, flip it back over. Just so, penetration. But that was because I took it and I jammed it on that stump. What do you mean by that? So it created a little hole right here. And then you just threw it, hit you back in the face. And that's not bad, though. We got duct tape. All right. Moving on. Okay. As hard as you can. It was at this moment that he knew. He All right. Now that that wasn't as tough as I thought it was, we need to go for the yardage. Here we go. Follow the box if you can. We're gonna do attempt number two just at a lower spot on the hill this time, so let's do it. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> Yes, sir. See, I told you the whole lid shifted. All right, I think that's enough for the box. Yeah. For now. Let's get to the truck. All right, so Carson would do, like to do one more test of punching the box before we unbox the truck. So let's see. Let's see it. Okay, all right, all right. All right, he proved his point. <laughs> Okay, so guys, this happened on the real, uh, hill roll there, but I honestly think it held up pretty good. Yeah. Like, we put it through hell, and it's back. Pine needle. <laughs> Pine. All right, let's head back to camp. All right, guys, so let's assess the damage. The mirror's a little tweaked, but still intact. So, I mean, we the goal was met. We didn't bust a mirror off. Um, yet. Yet, yeah. So everything under here is good. There's no water in there. A uh, little water on the truck here, which, you know. But it looks like we did bust a bed mount. Um, obviously disintegrated the controller here. But the truck, uh, the rear bumper, the tail light, and just the tailgate. But um, And then I thought this was hair or some sort of dirt, but the bed is actually cracked, which, oh yeah, look. Hmm. But um guys as well as this here I'm not sure what yeah. that is. I don't know if it's condensation or just I don't think so Well, I don't know though. Uh FMS you make windows. Can I can I buy new windows because otherwise this truck is pretty well Intact. I don't know. What do you what do you think Carson? Yeah, I think it did pretty good 
Yeah, and we haven't even beat on the truck yet, but I mean, guys, the casing is, oh, it is styrofoam. Oh. Wow, okay. No, but guys, of the, the controller, what do we expect? I mean, honestly, but guys, the idea was the truck. And the truck was meant. Yeah. Yeah. All the wires are still good, so we're just gonna throw some duct tape around <laughs> that. We are just gonna throw some duct tape on it. So, guys, give us a little bit and we'll get back to you. All right, guys, so after further investigation, the remote does not want to turn on. Um, this was supposed to be a part two video, but um, we're still gonna do more videos up here, but um, guys, it's only day one up here, and this truck was supposed to last. Uh, truck's great. I mean, the truck we might still do stuff with, but as far as actually driving it, that's out the window. All right, guys, so with that being said, I think we're going to wrap up this video right here. Um, so, guys, if you like this video, leave a like down below, but I would first like to say... I do not hate FMS. Carson doesn't hate FMS. We did this to test the durability, which the truck did phenomenal. I admit we were pretty hard on it, okay? We were really hard on it. But guys, I was really wanting to test the packaging. Like all these RC review people were like, this is some tough packaging. No one did a durability test on it. So that is what we did. And so guys, if you want to see another video like this, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and guys, uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Once again, big thanks to Onyx Off-Road for sponsoring today's video.